Hey guys, my new artwork shows a relief of a snowy mountain river. I began with a sketch of my idea, and on it I mapped out the layers I would need to project light through. I bought a piece of lightweight quarter inch plywood and cut it into four parts. After sketching each layer of mountain landscape, I cut the landscape silhouette out. I used a jigsaw to cut the plywood, but broke the saw blade and had to resort to using a circular saw. I don't recommend it. It's difficult and probably not safe. I softened the front edge by rounding it with a rasp and a bird. So this is the layered base of the relief. I needed to remove a panel off the back of each layer to thread light through and also make the work lighter. So since I need to project light through and out of each layer, I need to add 1 8 inch spacers. Now I'm ready to sculpt the surface features. I use Sculpta Mold, which is a mix of plaster and paper, to develop the contours. And use craft sticks, spoons, or simply my fingers to sculpt. Sculpta mold sets up in about 10 to 20 minutes and can be made smooth once it begins to harden.
I then added a layer or two of joint compound, or otherwise known as gypsum paste, to further smooth the surface. I placed a thin layer of joint compound on the river section to prepare it for pouring resin. I needed a lot of rocks, both rounded for the riverbed and sharper rocks for the areas outside the river. I used a hammer to break pieces of plaster into small chunks. And I used sandpaper to round the river rocks. I was then able to select and place the rocks in the river. I needed to mark the area that would be resin, so I used Sculptal Mold to do this. Joint compound helps stick the rocks to the riverbed. After lifting the panel, I can see where the outline of the river is. I needed to build a dam for the resins, so I chose to use Sculptor Mold. For the outside area, I use the 1 8 inch panels.
Color first needed to be added before the resin was poured, so I used watercolor, but later painted acrylic paint over the top of the watercolor. For both, I used a variety of neutral tones, so the rocks showed variation. The back panel will show the sky and stars, so I started with a smooth coating of joint compound. Be sure to wet areas before adding joint compounds so it will stick better to the base. The broken plaster resembles natural rocks well. I used acrylic in various neutral tones for the surface. Then I dry brushed white acrylic on top to add weathered texture. I am now ready to add color to the landscape. For the mountains, I used a variety of blue tones for atmospheric perspective. I chose to have the light coming from the left side to the right side, so I added more shadow to the right and more highlights to the left of each mountain ridge. created individual small trees for the distant foothills and larger trees for the foreground.
I used the piping tool to create treetops in the distance. Now it's time to resin the river. I used a crystal clear, low viscosity resin. Careful here not to cover the top of the river rocks. 